Hey everyone, happy new comic book day eve, happy Halloween, that's what today is, Tuesday, October 31st, Halloween. Getting ready to go through this week's new releases with you, for you. Got some cool stuff in store. So come on in, say hey. And yeah, if you're just joining us for the first time, this is a weekly segment where I go through this week's new releases and you can shop any of them. Just comment the word sold and the name of the item. And if you're local, just come in and pick that up within a week. If you're outside of the area, look for the uh, Google form in the comments and fill that out and we will follow up with you on Thursday with an invoice and we'll ship anywhere in the United States. So if you want us to be your local comic shop, we're happy to do that. If we are your local comic shop, we're happy to be that. So I have a stack sitting next to me of this week's new releases. So come on in, say hey, let me know that you're here. Don't forget to give us thumbs up and hearts if you like if you like the show. It's weird calling it a show, but if you like the live sale. Uh, we do have something special this week. We have a free comic for you. It is actually free with purchase. So make any purchase this week and you'll pick up a free copy of Unnatural Order Number 1 from Vault. And uh, this is written by Christopher Yost, who's a veteran of the comic book world. He's done a lot of work with Marvel and he's doing some creator on stuff now. And it is, uh, it is really good. It's supernatural. It's got some possible time travel elements and you can pick up a copy absolutely free with any purchase this week at Alter Ego. So that's the first thing I wanted to make sure that I got out of the way. Now we will dive into this week's new releases. If you're a Rick and Morty fan, we have the Rick and Morty manga available. Volume 1, suggested for mature readers. $20 will get you Rick and Morty the manga. Now this does, this is more a Mara manga because it does read left to right front to back. It is in black and white like most manga is, but you can check out Rick and Morty the manga. Again, 20 bucks will get you this. Thanks for joining me on the Alter Ego Live sale. If you are local and you come into the store this week, you'll see that we did some rearranging. We are now back occupying the entire front part of the store. So we've spread out we are still a work in progress here. We did most of our work in one day yesterday, but uh, there's still a lot more that we want to do. And there's going to be some new products coming in. There's going to be some new fun stuff coming in. So stick around and check out the redesign. Next up, we've got the second issue of Alice Cooper from Dynamite Entertainment. This is $5 and we still have copies of number one available and this has done really well because it's a good story. It's a good story. Uh, the, the artwork is excellent. The cover choices are really cool. So if you picked up Alice Cooper number one and you did not add it to your pull list, let me know if you want to pick up number two and subscribe or come in and grab a copy while we still have copies available. We have a new series from Ablaze called Almost Dead. Uh, the writer is Galaxy. I don't know what that means. Uh, the art is by Ryan Benjamin. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet. It looks a little Walking Dead-ish, but I will check it out, and I will let those of you that come into the shop know what I think. $4 for Almost Dead, issue number one. Get ready for Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom coming in December. We've got a one-shot uh, that is Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom special. $7, oversized, one-shot to get you ready for the movie. 
coming out in December. If you like the character of Jeff, created by Kelly Thompson over in uh, Hawkeye or West Coast Avengers, I think it was West Coast Avengers. We've got a new one shot called It's Jeff, the Jeff Verse. Six dollars for It's Jeff. We have a lot of one shots this week. I think it's because publishers are treating this as a five week month. Maybe it is a five week month. No, but tomorrow's the first. Uh, but according to DC, today's new release day. See, I'm just kind of talking this through with you. We have a Supergirl special. This is a one shot written by Mariko Tamaki. Artist is Skylar Patridge. Six dollars for the Supergirl special. Again, it's a one shot. If you're a Supergirl fan, you probably want it. And not to be outdone, we have the return of Superman 30th anniversary special. This is also a one shot. Ten dollars. This is the square bound format uh, that DC has been doing for their seasonal one shots, among other things. Uh, this brought back the entire creative team. I believe, from the death of Superman, including Dan Jurgens, Louise Simonson, John, John Bogdanov, Jerry Ordway, Carl Kessel, Tom Grummet, Brett Breeding. Celebrate 30 years of the death of Superman with this one shot. All right. You may not be aware, but I've got a first appearance coming at you. This is the first appearance of the Bad Batch in comics. It is in Star Wars Hyperspace Stories, issue number 10. Kind of snuck up on folks, um, but these characters have never, never appeared in comics before. Of course, they're on the animated series on Disney+, Plus, uh, two seasons worth of the Bad Batch, and this is their first comics appearance. This is $4 for Star Wars Hyperspace Stories, issue number 10. Can't tell if it's snowing or if the leaves are blowing around outside. I think it's snow. I think it's snowing outside. Weird. All right. The White Widow has a new mini series, of course. Uh, Thunderbolts is coming our way one of these days uh, on the big screen, and the White Widow is a member of the Thunderbolts. So get to know Natasha's sister in this new mini series. Five dollars for White Widow issue number one. Come back for seconds on Vampirella Dead Flowers. This is issue number two. It is $4. And we still have copies of number one. Again, the response to number one uh, exceeded my expectations. So if you picked up number one and did not subscribe, but you want number two, let me know. Or come in and pick up number one and number two if you're a fan of Vampirella or vampires. Another number two. Power Rangers Ranger Academy number two is out today. This is $4. We still have copies of number one. So if you're a Power Rangers fan and you want to get in on the ground floor of this new Ranger Academy thing, come on in, comment, let me know. A new Red Sonia series from Dynamite, Savage Red Sonia. This is written by Dan Pinojian. Uh, the art is by Alice Alessio Patillo. Uh, the cover on this one is by Dan Pinojian, and we're going to see more from Dan Pinojian in just a minute. His artwork is really, really cool. So new Red Sonia series. If you've been thinking about picking up a Red Sonia book or you're curious or you're Sonia curious, check out Savage Red Sonia issue number one, four dollars. We'll get you this. We have a new space, what appears to be a romance. Uh, judging by the cover, I haven't had a chance to read it yet. It is The Space Between from Boom Studios, $5. And the aforementioned Dan Pinosian is back this time <clears throat> doing just the art on a Scott Snyder book from Dark Horse. We talked about Scott Snyder last week. His book, uh, Dungeon, Dark Space's Dungeon, was my pick of the week. And I think this is going to be my pick of the week this week. Canary is a Western uh, that may or may not have a supernatural tint to it. And if you know Scott Snyder, you know he likes to write the scary things. So this takes place in uh, the late 1800s. 
uh, and we meet a marshal who is investigating some weirdness, and we're learning more about his past. Again, Dan Pinocean does the artwork on, he on here, and I thought the artwork was great. I thought the story was great. It's an oversized, it's a giant first issue, and it is only five bucks for Canary issue number one, again, by the team of Scott Snyder and Dan Pinocean. And our last single issue this week is Spider Boy, issue number one, written by Dan Slott, artwork by Paco Medina. I know nothing about Spider Boy. In fact, I was just asking Alex and Adrian, who were just in the shop, uh, what is going on with Spider Boy? Uh, my understanding is that he is he used to be Spider Man's sidekick, but no one knows this except him. Um, so I'm going to check it out. I haven't had a chance to read it yet, but I'll check it out. I like Dan Slott. I like his Spider Man stories. So. We'll see about Spider-Boy issue number one. It's $6 if you want to check it out. We'll stay with Spider characters with Edge of Spider-Verse, Bleeding Edge. This is a graphic novel collecting Edge of Spider-Verse number one through four. It is $18. We have a previously out of print story that I recommend to anyone that likes the Justice League or the Justice Society. It is JLA, JSA, Virtue and Vice. This is written by David Goyer uh, and Jeff Johns with artwork by Carlos Pacheco and Jesus Marino, uh, putting these two teams together, the Justice League and the Justice Society. Uh, as I said, it's been out of print for a bit. Two teams, two leagues, one epic adventure, 15 bucks to go on that adventure. All right, Ed, I got you down for Spider Boy. Thank you very much. And thanks for hanging out this afternoon. Another very cool graphic novel. This is part of Marvel's modern era epic collection, Spider-Man Deadpool. This collects the first 14 issues, plus issues 17 and 18, and uh, one point MU, whatever that means. So a whole bunch of Spider-Man and Deadpool team up goodness in this monstrous epic collection from 2016, 2017, $45 will get me this. It is a giant collection. It is snowing. It is crazy. What is today? October 31st. Snow on Halloween. And our final item today is huge. This is Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Deluxe Edition Book 1. It is like an encyclopedia. It's not an encyclopedia, but it's like the old school encyclopedias. $75. Uh, collects a boatload of Power Rangers comics. Let's see here. Mighty Morphin 1 through 8, Power Rangers 1 through 8, Power Rangers Unlimited Air to Darkness number 1, Power Rangers Unlimited Edge of Darkness number 1, in an oversized format where you get to really appreciate the amazing, stunning artwork. And it is a hardcover. For those of you that keep track of these things, $75 for Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Book 1 Deluxe Edition. Yeah, Brittany, I, I guess, thank goodness, that Trick or Treat was last Thursday. I will, I will die on this hill that Halloween is when you trick or treat. October 31st is when you trick or treat. When the sun goes down. So, like, between 6.30 and 7.00. That's when you trick or treat on October 31st, regardless of what day of the week it falls on. That's how it was when I grew up. I don't know what happened in this part of the world, uh, but West Central Ohio is like a, a uh, like that movie Pleasantville or something like where that's where its own little Bermuda Triangle, uh, where trick or treat has a rotating date and sometimes day and sometimes time. Halloween is October 31st. That is when the kids should trick or treat. When it gets dark. That's how it works. Anyway, I'll spend whatever remaining years I have trying to get that changed in our community. <laughs> Yes. Well, for the, for the kids, like my kids don't know any different. My kids have grown and spent their entire lives here. And yeah, 
But at school, they celebrated Halloween today because it's Halloween. And the rest of the United States is trick-or-treating today at probably 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But you're right. It is cold and it is snowy, so we wouldn't want to do that today anyway. That is it. Short little program today uh, because it's kind of like a fifth week. It's an end of the month, so uh, not a ton of new releases, but some good stuff. And uh, I'm looking forward to reading a bunch of those number ones that I haven't had a chance to check out yet. Don't forget, come in this week for your free copy of Unnatural Order number one. This is free with any purchase. And uh, this is a legit full comic, 30 some odd pages, cover price of $5, but you're going to get it free with any purchase. And then if you like it, let us know ASAP that you want to add it to your pull list so we, we can get you the next issue. Uh, but we want people to try this, to check it out. Vault has been very supportive of retailers, so we're being very supportive of them and giving away this copy or unnatural order to people that buy anything. That is it. If you are celebrating Halloween today, if you're trick-or-treating in your neck of the woods, have a safe and, and fun Halloween. Uh, if not, then just have a good Tuesday, and hopefully we'll see you soon at Alter Ego. <laughs>